I'm Steve Higgins, writer and blogger, and one of the bylines I use on Twitter is Hear It Straight from a Self-Published Author. I thought it might be an idea to make a video about just that, about being a self-published author. So here are four simple secrets of self-publishing. Number one, the first thing to remember in the world of self-publishing is that it's just you. No one else, just you. You are the writer, the editor and the proofreader all rolled into one and there is only you to tell you that that bit is good and the other bit is not so good and the book is maybe too long or too short or anything else for that matter. Sometimes, like me, you might find you need a little help in the area of proofreading. After I wrote my book Floating in Space and then rewrote it quite a few times, I personally began to develop a sort of word blindness and I tended to see only the words I thought I had written and not the ones I actually had written. Spelling and grammar checkers will pick up things like repeated words, bad spelling and so on, but a really good idea is to get someone to proofread your work. How many mistakes has my proofreader spotted? I shudder to think. Number two, once you've clicked the button at Amazon to publish, then another thought may begin to enter your head. Who is going to buy your epic work? How will they even know about it? The answer is marketing. And who will be marketing your book? Well, if you're a self-published author, it's going to be you. Yeah, that's your cue to start Facebooking, tweeting, blogging, and so on. So you can get your message out to all those eagerly waiting readers. A new book is available. Come and get it. A thousand websites are out there that will tell you about the intricacies of marketing and blogging. Some will drop a tiny sliver of free info into your doorstep. Others want you to sign up for their webinars and their courses, all guaranteed to sell your book at a price. I tend to read a few select websites and follow their advice, particularly when I decide to shell out some money and actually advertise. Apart from advertising, I publicise Floating in Space in all the usual places I've mentioned. Facebook, Twitter and so on. I also have a raft of videos to bombard the public with. Then of course there is my blog, going out once a week on WordPress in the hope that these short missives about life, the universe, books and classic films will entice the reader to buy my book. And that brings me nicely into number three. Do you have an author blog? Get yourself one straight away if you haven't. An author blog is a way of communicating straight to the book bank public. WordPress is a great way to start, fairly easy and free. The only thing I pay for at WordPress is my website address, stebegginslive.com. Have you self-published at Amazon? Well, if you have, having your author page at Amazon is very important too. Get yourself a good bio sorted and some juicy stuff about your book. Take some time to set up your author page at Goodreads too and try to interact with other readers and other authors. Number four. Okay, you've gone down the self-publishing route, but that doesn't mean you have to stay self-published forever. Keep on researching publishers and keep on sending off your manuscripts. And one other thing, just because you found these four secrets or truths published on the internet, that doesn't mean that they're right or good or even worthwhile listening to. And just like a thousand other writers knocking out works like this that float off into the internet. I have no editor to tell me my post wasn't helpful or interesting. I just have me and some grammatical support from my lovely proofreader. That's all from me. I hope these four simple secrets of self-publishing have helped you. Hit the subscribe button for more videos, although they're not all about self-publishing. And if you fancy an entertaining read, why not navigate to stevegginslive.com. Thanks for watching.